Ladies and gentlemen, our bot has been updated. We have access to some cool new commands, all right? These are things that were either unavailable or previously batch commands in the past. Now, these kinds of things would be like period, ribbon, mark, mightiest equals true, just as a for instance here. So let's give you a breakdown of all the new changes and you could decide whether or not you're gonna use the old or the new or whatever. Let's just look at it. So size and scale have been changed. So instead of dot scale equals zero or 255, which is what it was in the past, get rid of all that and just write scale XXXL or XXXS. Or you could provide the number 255 still, but it will accept both of these. It'll take AB or XS, et cetera, et cetera. Now I'm not gonna repeat that going through all these all these different ones. If you see or, all right, that'll tell you it takes two different potential inputs. So moving on. Height scaler and weight scaler are now just weight and height. And you could have it the same deal. All these XS, S, A, B, L, XL, or their original numbers like 125 or 15 or just S. I don't know what he set the defaults to. He might set it to roll between these numbers. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to go. So if you were to press like A, V, it might give you a random one from 48 to 207, or it might be set. The bot might have them set. I'm not sure how he went about it. I personally would have set it to roll between those two numbers. So that's probably exactly what he did. So met date moving on. Met date was stupid before, but now it's less stupid. Met date. And I can use any of these formats, which is awesome. So let's say 2025-0505, which is today. That would be following that first format right there. Okay. And just like that, it should work as it's written. Moving down, met location. Okay, a lot of you have asked about met location and I didn't have an answer for you. In fact, I told you not to do them, but he's gone out of his way to make met location function. Okay, so if you want, if you want to set the met location of where you caught a Pokemon, refer to this list and refer to these numbers right here. Okay, and it's the same deal I'm guessing for mystery gift and whatnot. I guess he's going to use these for um. So this is like how they are. I'm sorry, what region they were met and like what event they were met. Interesting and who they were met from. That's that's pretty cool. So I'm assuming that if I wanted to make something North Province area two, I would do met location 48. That's how I take this. OK, so it's met location just like that. And since all of these are following the uh, semicolon situation. Yeah, that's exactly what's got right here. Area zero, he said to 112. Let's find 112 area zero. There it is. OK, there you have it. Um, Sword and shield to Scarlet and Violet. OK, I misunderstood. I thought it was just sword and shield. That's pretty cool. So it starts in Scarlet Violet. Let's scroll down. Oh, what am I doing? Look at that. Oh, I didn't see the tabs at the bottom. See, look, we're learning together. OK, he's got the PLA, the BDSP, Sword and Shield, spe special instances. Oh, he's got the Alcremie set up. That's cute. Stat nature. OK, look at this. All right, I can dig it. So if I was on the Sword and Shield bot and I wanted it, let's say, at the Master Dojo, I'd put in 196. OK, so use the bottom tabs to determine what game you're looking at. So if I'm doing the Scarlet and Violet bot, I want to be SV location IDs. OK, I am tracking now. Moving along, um, version doesn't really pertain to you guys, but you can now do instead of version 51 for Violet like this. You could just write, for instance, game Scarlet or game Violet. And I think a lot of you are going to like this a lot better than the the, what the uh, current setup is. Now, basically, the only reason that you would use this is to make sure the OT matches yours. And that's only for cases where like um, auto OT is off. I usually have auto OT on, so this shouldn't apply to you guys. But there are situations and occasions where I do turn it off. So if you need to change your Pokemon's met 
game, this is how you do it. But keep in mind, I don't have it so that you can just trade illegals. Basically, um, if if you wanted to request a certain Pokemon from Sword and Shield in Scarlet and Violet, but you didn't have Sword and Shield, you have to use my files. You can't just request it using the version. So even though this is here, you can't do like game um, red. Like it, it's not going to work for you in my server. It will work with this bot in other servers. I just don't let you do that here for the sake of keeping everything completely legal and usable online. So I'll say Scarlet. And the reason I would do that, like I said a minute ago, is so it matches the rest of my OTTID, SID, language, version, and uh, yeah, that's it. Those are the five parameters required to have the Pokemon say welcome back in Legends Arceus and Sword and Shield. So you need all five of those together. If you don't have all five of them, then it won't say welcome back. And on Pokemon Home, it'll pop up as a different, it'll have the same TID, SID, combination but it'll be in a separate slot indicating that the the pokemon home knows there's a mismatch in the data there's no like legality problems from that it's just if you're ocd like some people are okay moving on so we have hyper train flags that is when your pokemon has less than perfect ivs but you want it to have perfect ivs so you do hyper train true yes I want it to have 31 in all slots. However, sometimes you want it to not have 31 in all slots. Sometimes you want zero attack. If you want zero attack, make sure to write false. However, I'm sure that false is the default, so you don't need to include things that you don't want to be changed. For instance, if you don't care where your Pokemon was met, you don't care what date it was met, you don't care its size, scale, any of this, you don't have to include any of this, all right? This is all optional content here. Now, moves. This used to be moves equals suggest all and he simplified that to just moves random and that'll it should fill out all four moves even if the pokemon is too low a level to learn four moves so it'll basically give you like tms or something it has access to at that level um i don't know a situation where you'd want to use this to be completely honest however it is a command that it, it exists so i understand why he just simplified it Moving further down, same deal with uh, met level here. I tell you guys to use met level to determine whether or not it has been hatched from an egg. I've come to realize that was egg is a thing. So you could do hatched true, hatched with a D, not an S, hatched true, instead of doing met level equals one. And I just thought that was funny because I've been doing met level equals one or not met level equals one to control whether or not it has been hatched this entire time. So you would use hatch equals not equals, but hatch false. And then let's say met level equals 25 to really help hone in on what encounter that you're looking for. You would use these together with, say, the met location to really iron out what specific encounter you're trying to tell the bot that you wanted to have. OK, ribbons was previously a suggest all or suggest none kind of deal. This is keeping in line with that. So it's all or none. That's it. Those are the only things that you could change here. However, ribbon mark is now just mark. So I opened this by saying mightiest, right? Did I do that in this video? OK, the value is the name of the mark. So mightiest or jumbo. But you got to remember, you can't say jumbo if you didn't actually give it the weight or height to match that or the scale to match that. So don't try to like mix and match here. It can't be like, you know, an extra small in all three of these and have the jumbo mark. OK, those things are mutually exclusive. It doesn't happen in the game. That's not legal. But uh, mightiest is a real thing that happens in the game. But that has some mutual exclusiveness with met level and caught location and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. But this is where you would set your mark. I don't know if I have a list of marks. I believe that I do. Let's have a look here. Yeah, these are all the marks that you could have. So instead of writing this whole line, you would just write mark absent-minded and that's it. Or mark angry. All right, let's go back. Ribbons. Oh man, ribbons. I don't know. I've never been one to like use the bot to its fullest. So this is more a you guys thing than me. But I guess alpha is a ribbon. 
Alpha still also exists like this, though. Like, Alpha, yes, if you were using uh, Legends Arceus. And I think because I have the uh, thing turned off for home transfers, that you wouldn't be able to just do Ribbon Alpha like that. Because if it doesn't have a home tracker, then it can't be Alpha, right? It can't have the Alpha Ribbon. I don't actually know. Use this to your own, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you use this however you figure it out, okay? Um, GVs. GVs is 1 to 10. This is PLA specific. Um, it's like EVs, but not really. You like feed them candy for it to raise. It's more like AVs, I guess. GVs is 1 to 10, or 0 to 10. I'm sorry. I thought it was 0 to 7, but I guess it's 0 to 10. Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. Anyway, we'll just say 10 as the maximum here. Um... Yeah, okay. So it wouldn't be 10, it'd be like 10 HP, 10 attack, 10 defense, etc. It would be like that, as shown here. Generation is the same thing as game. I asked him, I had to clarify that. So I asked Havoc specifically what that was. Um, so it would be like Gen 8. Like that. And it would just decide Sword or Shield for you. Um, again, you can't use that here because I, the way I have legality set up. But anyway, this is, what is this, 13, 14? 14, 14 new commands with the bot that should help streamline at least a couple of things. I know that new users will really appreciate the scale, weight, height, met date, and what's that last one? Oh, I forgot what the other one was. Met location, there we go. That's what new users are going to appreciate the most. So Havoc, Link, you guys did a great job, whichever one or both of you that worked on this and anyone else that's on your team. Um, there's not a whole lot else to talk about here, so I'm going to shut up. Now I'll see you in the next one. If you need to go back to a certain part of this video, it will be broken up into timestamps. There will also be a text version of this at some point in the future, but also the link directly to this uh, website that I read from is going to be in the description. Goodbye.